you saw everything that you wanted to see for most of that game up until maybe the last bit of the fourth quarter out of your team. How do you make sure that going into Winnipeg next week you have that same kind of drive and momentum? I mean, I feel like we've been doing a good job starting off fast and, you know, playing tough football for majority of the game. But for whatever reason, we hit a point where you know, we got them stopped and a chance to control the game and just take over the game. And, you know, we just don't make our plays that we're supposed to make or we blow assignments. I, I imagine you want to look at particularly that last drive they had, but what happened on that uh, third and 17 before uh, Ricky rolled out and completed to Posey? Um, I think we did a good job in the back end. Um, I feel like you just had, you got out of the pocket. You can't let the quarterback like Ricky get out of the pocket and extend the play and make uh, pl uh, the play last longer. And, you know, it's hard to cover up and on this big field for a long period of time. So we just had to do a better job keeping them in the pocket. The Ottawa's loss uh, is makes it the fact that this is still a playoff push for you guys. Um, so what do you have to do mentally going into Winnipeg next week? Uh, you know, we just got to get back, find our mojo again, you know. I feel like we're a super confident group. You know, we know what kind of football team we are, but we just got to go out there and just put it on the team's necks when we're supposed to win. Like, you know, it's hard to win in the CFL, but, like, when you got a team like Toronto that came in here and you were able to put your foot on their neck and you and you just don't do it, you let them stick around, you know, some that's what's going to happen with a good football team. They're going to find a way to win. The fumble call that went against you, you looked like you batted the ball out of bounds. Did you, did, was your feeling yeah. that you were the last one to touch it? A hundred percent. I batted the ball out, and then I told the, the official I batted the football out, and the official told me that it doesn't matter that I batted the football out. And then I, I know the rules of the CFL. It's just sad that he told me that. All my, everything, I, my mom, anybody, that's what he said. It doesn't matter that I batted the football out. <laughs> and, and it shocked. didn't hit. It didn't hit cross after you when you. I just know it. I bet. I don't know if it hit somebody else after or whatever or who it touched last. I know I bet the football out, but the official said it doesn't matter that I bet the football out. So I got to go look at the rules again and make sure I'm not crazy. There were a number of calls in that game that I think were questionable. The the pass interference call on Demond uh, that negated the the Cardi Steven interception and is that. Was that frustrating for this team? It's frustrating, but at the end of the day, that doesn't that didn't lose us the game. We still had plenty of opportunities to win the football game. Um, you know that would have helped us seal the game or whatever. You know, put us in a better position. But at the end of the day, we still had third and fifteen to get off the field. We still had a two point conversion. We could have stopped them. We still had overtime, and we just we lost the game. They played better than us when they were supposed to. How difficult will it be to get over this loss? I mean, it's gonna suck until we play again. That's just how I am. You know, like. Is losing sucks. Losing is hard to deal with. You know, it doesn't get any easier. I've been playing football since I was eight years old, <laughs> and you know, losing still sucks to this day. Does this one hurt more than others, given the stakes that were involved and how you lost? Hell yeah, I hate losing to Toronto. I don't like Toronto at all. It sucks losing to Toronto. Um, you see them guys a lot. Uh, it's just annoying, you know. Uh, and it's a, it's a East opponent in a game that we thought we could handily win.